I hereby summon all my imps. Hey everybody, it's Annabelle. There have been all cards revealed for the uh, latest set so far. I'm going to still break this down into increments of 10, so I will be doing 10 today, uh, and 10 on Thursday, and 10 on Friday, but come Saturday, I will be doing all the rest of the reviews for all the rest of them, 10 at a time. And then I will still also be doing uh, one for each class as a 10 card review. So just see how all the classes work together. I won't be touching neutral. I might go over a few neutral cards. Uh, I might do the 10 best neutral cards. So that might be my last one. So you're going to see a lot of posts this upcoming Saturday if you're interested at all. Okay. First up for us, we left off on Wild Spirit. So we're moving on to the first one for us which is Orin um, uh, Mansion Manager, which is a 4-mana, 3-5 Legendary Mage card that says after a friendly secret is revealed, cast a different Mage Secret and gain plus 2, plus 2. This card is very interesting because the way it's worded, you would reveal that secret and then put down a new secret. I'm trying to figure out how this is worded because cast a different mage secret says that as soon as you try to cast something on this, if the secret's revealed, you get another mage secret down. That's how I would put this. Um, and because the way it's the way it's worded, so I can't see a a a a world where you the secret is revealed and then after that secret is revealed, then it casts a new secret instead. That'd be kind of weird. If but if that's the way this works with the second way, it'd be so hard to play. The first way also make, almost makes this card broken if it works the first way. Where if you, once the secret's revealed, you get to cast another secret gun that goes on and on because you can end up with this chain. That just keeps going on and on and on. But if it's the second way where, let's say you're doing um, frozen armor, ice armor or whatever it's called, and you try to reveal the ice armor, and then all of a sudden you get counterspell. That's not something you're looking for. But if you uh, have the ice armor cast, and then as soon as the ice armor pops, counterspell goes down on your side of the field. That makes this card very broken. So depending on how this wording is, this is either really weird or really broken. And that's what I'm going to give this. Really weird or really broken. Next up for us is the Wild Bloom Seedman, which is the 4 mana 3-2 uh, Druid card. That's an epic Druid card that says Battle Cry, draw a nature spell, gain an empty mana crystal. This is just going to see play. It's ramp. It, it's, it's Jade Bloom. This is Jade Bloom. Withdraw. It's going to see play. That's it. Moving on. Next up for us is Alanor. Arnor, Norn. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to pronounce this. Five mana, four or five. Uh, Battle cry summon one of each dormant wild seed. So that means you summon all three dormant wild seeds. Takes up four slots on the board when it when it's played. Uh, this card is going to be interesting because. Depends on how they get summoned, which one takes the slots for second or third. They go one, two, three. And then you're basically going to be sad if your third slot's missing. If you go three, two, one, then you're going to be happy no matter what, because the one you're looking for is the three slot. But that three minions come up turn after turn after turn. One, then two, then three. And, I mean, this is five mana, four, five. That by itself, would just, I mean, you're talking, you know decently good stats but then you're getting all these step bombs so this is a seven a five mana let's see four or five 
Uh, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine plus five is 14. 14 attack and five, 10, 15 defense. Plus you're getting another four, two at the end. I mean, that's a lot of stats if you got the room. You're gonna be, you're gonna have, you're gonna just sit there and go, yep, I played this on turn five. And the, th the only problem I have with this, and pretty much the only problem, well, two problems I should say, is one, you need four slots for this to work, unless you get the three first, or you get a random assortment. If it goes one, two, three, then you need the four slots working, because you want that three real bad. And number two, I'm just not sure, world, I'm just not sure Hunter cares. <laughs> that's, the, that's the truth of this. I'm just not sure as long as the Fenton Dwarven District is in the, in the meta, that dwarf, that, that Hunter cares. It doesn't do damage. So, I'm gonna give this really good card, but the District is gonna make it hard to play. Next up for us is going to be Party Crasher. Party Crasher is an 8 mana epic neutral minion that's a 7-9. It says battle cry, choose an enemy minion, throw a random minion from your hand at it. So this is kind of like the uh, cannon that Hunter used to have. So it depends again how this is written because the way that it works, you should like you need something, you need a minion in your hand and you're going to want to take it out of your hand and again if it dies when it hits it i'm not sure how it's going to affect the death rattle on that particular card you lose the card from your hand is your card at the card now weaker in your hand because that wouldn't make sense it doesn't say ah, throw it on the board at the end of it so let's go with an averagely good card you're, you're basically going to have like a five five on the board you're going to play an 8 mana 7, 9 that might take down a 4, 4. I mean, I just don't know where you're playing this on. And that's what I'm going to give it. 8 mana is win. Next up for us. Is going to be the Countess. Countess is a 7 mana legendary min uh, paladin minion card that has 7-7 seven, seven in stats, so it's a 7 mana 7-7. Seven, seven. It says if your deck has no neutral cards, add 3 legendary in invitations to your hand. Legendary inf invitations are all the way down here. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. It says discover a legendary minion from another class. It costs 0. Um... I don't know why this is in right now. Um, pure Paladin decks aren't worth playing. I, I'm just gonna go out on kind of one and say pure Paladin decks aren't worth playing. It's weird that every once in a while they go back to trying to make pure Paladin work, but they never do it when pure Paladin decks are in there. So, I'm not sure you can make a pure paladin deck work right now, although you might. Although at that particular point, you're basically just playing a mech paladin, and this card's just slotting into a mech paladin right now. Okay, there's no other cards in paladin right now that emphasize off of this. And to get the reward off of this... It's still three mana. Yes, you get to discover a legendary from another class and make it play on zero, but that means that this is coming on. The best hope is turn eight that you're getting this, and there are going to be legendaries that you're just going to sit there and go, I don't care. I mean, some of the legendaries you're just not going to care about. I mean, if you get the robot here that's even in this set, that's not what you're looking for. You don't, I mean, yeah, you might have a secret because you're paladin for it, but 
They're looking for good legendaries, and there's so, and I, there's just so weird of a pool that you can get right now. Uh, you get the Warlock, the, 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 the Warlock card from Forged in the Barrens, which is still in the set. That lets your shadow spells, uh, if they're higher than one, cast again. That card's going to be worthless to you, and that's a 1-3. Yeah, you get to discover, and yeah, you, that most likely means that you're going to get something that you like on each one. But, I, I just don't know if you're willing to give up neutral cards for this. So, I'm going to give this uh, pure paladin, if not the set. Next up for us... This card six, which is Sus Suspicious Pirate. Suspicious Pirate is a three mana uh, rare warrior card with three four. Uh, discover a weapon. If your opponent guesses your choice, they get a copy. Uh, pirate Warrior. Uh, a lot of times you're not going to care that your opponent chooses the weapon also. If you're going for the ship Pirate Warrior combo. You can pick something really weird. There's a lot of times just you you can take the weirdest option. There's going to be times where you just get the gore howl and you don't care. You're going to win the game next turn. I mean, you get to discover. You can just pick something weird and get a weapon a lot of times. Because to the warrior, you basically don't care what the weapon is. This is going right in the pirate warrior deck. The only thing is that I'm not sure Pirate Warrior has a 3 slot open, but if they have a 3 slot open, this one's going to fit nice into it. I gotta see if they have a 3 slot open. It's getting hard to uh, fight for that 3 slot right now. So, good card, but might have to fight for the 3 slot. Next up for us... Seven is going to be Imbued Axe. Imbued Axe is a three mana, two, three uh, warrior weapon that has after your hero attacks, give all your damage minions plus one, plus one. And twos give them plus two, plus two instead. This card is just scary. Um, fiery War Axe uh, nerfed. Uh, stats, damage, minions get plus one, plus, plus one. You, you're, you're, you can trade in a minion, then attack with the axe to make sure that it gets the plus one, plus one. Uh, having three minions die while this is in your hand is not going to be the end of the world. You might just get this off something random um, and not play this on three, playing this on three. Just get the plus one, plus one. I'm not I'm pretty sure this doesn't justify running the location just to get this effect, but everything else is fine on this, so. Fiery War Axe plus upside is what I'm giving this. Next up for us. Should be card eight. which is Miracle. Miracle is a 4-mana common neutral minion that's a 3-4 uh, that has lifesteal and infuse. This card costs zero. There's going to be a deck that's running aggro that just trades in 4 and drops this on zero. It's that simple. Uh, even by itself, it's not bad. It's a 4-mana four 4-4 four, four with lifesteal. Sometimes you're just going to be happy with this. Anything that runs Murloc is going to try to throw it in the deck. Uh, next up for us... It's going to be card 9. Which is going to be the Element Executioner. 
which is a two mana one four warrior minion that has whenever a friendly minion takes damage, give a random minion in your hand plus one plus one. Hand buff for warriors, never been that big of a thing. Turn two, one four. Uh, it's pretty decent stats. It's gonna take damage itself, and it's basically gonna buff something in your hand plus one plus one. Uh, I'm not, you know, it's it's decent. It's I, again, I don't see the location coming into effect for this one to see play. You can just play this by yourself. It's it's basically the equivalent to the other warrior spell that gets you uh, armor every time that something takes damage. That's it. It's just fair. That's what I'm going to name it. It's fair. Next up for us. It's going to be card 10. Which is the Anonymous Informant. Which is a 2 mana neutral minion card. That's 2-2. Two, two. That is Battle Cry. Your next secret you play cost 0. 2-3, two, 2-2, two, two, River Crocodilus stats. Gonna be run in uh, the bigger secret packages, and then Rogue's not gonna bother throwing this in their deck. Um, Paladin might not even throw this in their deck. Hunter, it's about fair. Uh, Mage might see this come into play. There's, there's Mage decks that were basically running secrets that would like to play secrets for zero. Paladin, it's not that good. Rogue, just I I don't see how the Rogue Secret package is going to work. And Hunter is about fair, so it it's fair again. But I I'm just the, the secret is there's no secret. Those are the ten. We've got a couple more to go through here. So we got about maybe three or four more of these left. So uh, each day I'm going to do one until Saturday, and then Saturday I'm going to do whatever's left, and they're still going to be in 10 increments except for the very last one. Where I'll just do the last little blur all together, which might be a 10 or 12, which might be like a 12, 13 one. Um, and then I'm going to do all the class reviews on my side. We're going to do them alphabetically, and I might do uh, the 10 best neutral minions in my opinion. So, a couple more videos coming up for this. At least one more. Two more. Three more. Looks like three more. So, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday should get me up to par. And then Saturday I will do all ten classes, so... If you're interested, if you like watching any of these or like any of these, I will be doing all of that on Saturday. So you'll be seeing a lot of these come up on Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate the uh, follows and I appreciate the um, watches when I do these. It does help me out a lot. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, remember, play for fun.